What is up, fellow renegades across the interwebs? Before we begin the video, as always, I want to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Extinction Team 75, Jacques from Wetterin, Lily Panda, Apprentice, Coma Blitz, Kid Cipher, C Raccoon, Aaron White, Gregory B, Fiat Voltus Mea, Joseph Dungan, Chris Andrews, Sean McLaughlin, Mariner, a me boy, Mage Click, Snowy, Zaxxon six six six, Cursing Throne ninety two, Ali Mocha, Duncan, Dimitri Theodosakis, Lily Panda, H E V Mark Four, Jesse the Educator, Austin Hall, Ethan Davis, Commander Nom Nom, Corbin, Ethan Kuyoth, and as always, I want to give a shout out to our executive producer, Bevan Brummett. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, feel free to click the link in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Good job! See what happens? No! See what happens when you're stupid? See what happens? Ah! No! National security! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! No! Let me out of the box! Daddy, please let me out of the box! I'm stuck! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm stuck up here! I'm stuck up here! Look! Extremely alternative medicine. That's like when you go to the doctor and system of a down's there to treat, right? Wake up! Grandma should put a little makeup! That's extremely alternative. Yeah, it is. That is, a, that is the extremest of alternatives. Uh, it's just like, doctor, doctor, I'm having trouble staying awake. Okay, let me write, let me prescribe you some toxicity. Wait, what? Wake up! Grandma should put a little makeup! It's like, oh, I get it now. System of a down. They're, like, their best album. Doctor, what is the best pizza toppings that I should eat for maximum health? Pepperoni and green peppers, mushrooms, olive chives. Pepperoni and green peppers, mushrooms, olive chives. It's like, doctor, what do I have to do to avoid, like, like uh, developing diabetes? What, what do I have to cut out of my diet to avoid getting diabetes? Sugar! Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, a bunch of kids haven't listened to System of a Down are very confused watching our video right now. Probably, if you haven't listened to System of a Down, you're doing yourself a massive disservice. Those guys are awesome. Well, Surge can be a bit of a dick, but so can Darren. <laughs> well, well, both of them can be. Yeah. yeah, it's everyone wants to know. Like System of a Down fans want to know, hey, how come we haven't gotten a new album? Ego. And when those two are in the same room, mm -mm, ain't happening. Anyway, so uh, we got uh, JonTron here talk, telling us about extremely alternative medicine. Is this that Gwyneth, like that Gwyneth Paltrow goo shit? Goop, goop, de goop, de goop. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I hope not. I hope that this is. I hope that this is something else. Entirely. Just recalled back into my head because they referenced Goop and Solar Opposite Season 2. Oh. It's like, I'm dying. Cancel my subscription to Goop. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, I, I'm i very concerned that by the end of this, I'm going to, like, like, never trust anything John Tron ever says again in terms of medicine. I mean, he's such a foremost mind in the medical field. Right. I mean, how many doctorates does he have? More than Bill Nye. More than I got, probably. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go ahead and give this a watch. This is extremely alternative medicine. John Tron. Here we go. Hey everyone! Before we start today's video, I've got some crazy news for you. This month. Raid Shadow Legends is turning three years old! Uh, Can you believe that? I hear you. There's simply never been a better That's time to start playing. Now, as everyone have. already knows, this game slaps. There's always something newly updated, and they're continuously adding sick champions like Sifi the Lost Bride, Sir Nicholas, and Hackhorn Smashlord. You must uh, really enjoy smashing. Relatable. You can celebrate this monumental month by using Smash my Bros? QR code or the links down below to download Raid for Smashing. yourself for mobile phone or PC. In the last three years, a lot has happened in the game. They've added the Shadowkin faction, a tribe of warriors from the Far East that were recently liberated from the reign of evil. And of course, there's the Doom Tower, 
with over Ooh. 120 levels and bosses to battle. And the newest addition, the Hydra Clan boss is without a doubt the biggest, baddest boss ever to set foot in Teleria. Well, <laughs> except for myself, of course. <laughs> For a limited time, you can use one. my link or scan the QR code right here to get a free starter pack worth almost $40. New players will get epic rare rewards like Misericord, Tiger Soul, and Romero. You'll also get 10 Magic XP Brew, 10 Force XP Brew, and 10 Spirit XP Brew. Act fast! You can't afford to wait on rewards like these. And since it's Ray's birthday, naturally, the gifts just keep on coming. All new and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth over $25. Once you're in-game, just enter Yay! promo code 3 Happy years birthday. Ray to get your hands on everything. You can also find me in-game under the name JonTron Show. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you there. <laughs> I'm not doing well, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but I ate a lot of fried chicken in that last episode we did here. We had to do a lot of takes, too. And frankly, in the end, it made me very sick and unhealthy. I tried to wash it down with some edible chalk, but it didn't work. What the fuck? There's nothing edible about this! In fact, turns out it's the chalk that really did it. Yeah, it was a chalk. Yeah, it's terminal. Don't you understand? I've got to find someone who can make me healthy again. And I totally haven't done this video idea like five times before. <laughs> totally. You know, looking at this track record right here all of a sudden, it seems clearly to point to one thing. Health advice from celebrities does not work, okay? And clearly, my health insurance company caught wind of what I was doing in my, with my body in regards to that, which is why they sent me this nice folder showing me that, um, well, you could say my options have become a little constrained. <laughs> American healthcare, am I right? This would not have happened had I lived in Denmark! <laughs> Good news is, though, in this country, you get what you pay for. And I've got the best plan on the market. They were kind enough to print me up a whole four people who are still in network and desperate enough to take my money. So, you know, <clears throat> I've got my research cut out for me. Let's not delay. Who's number one? Michael Shane. Michael spelled with a Y. I that's a little untrustworthy, but he's got a sort of honest looking face. It's good enough for me. Well, let's see what he's got. His name and his face look like he's a video game character. You can feel his, his uh, childlike presence. We're in for some shit today, aren't we? Okay, I know we've done this whole health guru thing before, but that was nothing compared to the Dude. real winners I've got to show you. I was gonna say that Theragun does does work, man. Like an actual good Theragun. I need one of those. For <laughs> you today. You ain't seen anything like this before, trust me. This is alternative alternative medicine. It's not your grandpappy's mainstream Gwyneth Paltrow Skynet microchip tracking ring. Okay, it's fringe stuff. So let's get to our first contestant, shall we? Michael Shane, a man who claims to be able to time warp gems into his stomach and then throw them up and somehow that's supposed to do something for you, even if it happens. Okay, let's look, let's look this guy up. Michael Shane. I don't know, I really, who spells Michael like this? Here it is, Michael Shane, physical mediumship. Reverend, well I think, I don't know if Rev stands for Reverend, but I'm gonna assume that. Revered. Explore the depths of truth inside your, all right, dude. Make your thing scroll slower. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> Reverend Michael. <laughs> Fuck! I can't even read. Reverend Michael Shane, spiritual teacher and transphysical phenomena. Mean, at least make it easier to read if you're gonna make it scroll this quick. Spiritual teacher and transphysical phenomena medium. You got that? That's what he is. Okay. About Michael Shane. Here he is. The man in question. Reverend Michael Shane is a certified physical medium of the SMP. Don't you gotta basically SMP. change your. Uh, acronym if it's just straight up got ass in caps on it just saying oh here's a, we got a, we got a quote from him here i believe everything that has been taught to me can be taught to others if they're willing to learn fair fair statement i think okay this is all getting a bit complicated uh, why don't we let the man speak for himself? take it away reverend my name is michael shane and i'm what you would call a uh Transphysical phenomena medium, which means I'm able to bring through using the energies of ectoplasm. Oh, 
You should have said so from the outset. That's a dog whistle for all the loons in the audience to start paying attention. Why are we talking about ectoplasm? What's gonna happen next? Is Slimer from Ghostbusters gonna pop up? I don't get it. He's uh. going for all these, you know, like, transmedium vibration ectoplasm. It just doesn't, it doesn't fit, doesn't have the ring. Physical objects from uh, an, an adamant, like gemstones. Like gemstones, you know, can I grab you with that? Forget the other stuff, you know, sparkly, you like that? He has amazing abilities. You can feel his, his uh, childlike presence. Yeah, no, that's, that's how I would describe it too. His childlike presence. He's just like a little boy. I mean, at least they matched it with a perfect clip there. They're like, what, you need, you need the childlike presence, B-roll? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll just wait, I'll get that in there. I think the man has just a, a very strong intuition. You comfortable? We're doing an interview here. <laughs> All right. Constitutionalist, that's what, what? That's what they chose to represent him? I'm here just to make sure that this accords with the ratified amendments and such, and the bills of rights. Oh, the throwing up of the diamonds and the jewels? Also, I just noticed something. He's a Patriots fan. No wonder he's, no wonder he's this stupid. <laughs> oh no, I, I am only interested on, in that at a perfunctory level. I love the Patriots shirt. It, just, hey! it really brings it all together. He, I feel, has been given a gift that's able to really transmit to a lot of many different people. I absolutely love Michael Shane just casually just standing around talking in the background here. I don't even know how that man keeps his, like, center of mass. Look at that devilish dog back there just chatting up that cutie. You know, <laughs> you, you just know he's, he's dropping a couple. Yeah, I do like gemstones. You ever heard of, like, ectoplasm? <laughs> Make sure I don't have anything on my body. At first, I'd like you to just just pretend you're a cop. I just I'm just into this. No, no, officer, I don't have anything that'll poke you or stick you. <laughs> Let's get a nice close up on that. Beautiful. People train their whole lives to get footage like this. I mean, what, look at what we're looking at here. This is important. Otherwise, you wouldn't have zoomed in on it. We got. There seems to be some bitrate. That seems to be a void of nothing. I'm pretty sure there was something before he zoomed in that wasn't nothing. But looks like. Well, what's that? Fingers. Some uninvolved banana, like South American bananas, like those brown ones. Maybe it's, <laughs> may, it could be Michael Shane's fingers. I don't really remember what happened at this point before we zoomed in. Finally, someone's shutting him the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. That's so much like amateur magician act energy. What, what, that's not helping the cause here. If you're supposedly warping in things from different realms, the duct tape seal is not really what's going to sell me. <laughs> I'm genuinely. What was that? Oh, oh I believe the man is in pain. <laughs> That's where the belief ends, but I believe the man is struggling. Oh, the Damn. divinity. Yeah, I'd pay to see this, definitely. No, I'm sold. Get me, does he have, does he have tour dates? <laughs> Damn. Was it worth it, Mike? Would you swallow that $2.99 bag of mixed gems from Amazon basics again? <laughs> I know. You know, he's right, I mean, like, John, like, that's exactly what he's done. He's just, it's not an impressive feat. I've witnessed, dude, there's a magician who literally swallowed kerosene, did an entire performance uh, of magic, and then at the end of the show, he basically, like, blew, like, blew the, like, regurgitated the kerosene into a glass, and he set it on fire. He set the glass down and was, and said, I will now I will now demonstrate to you fire breathing. <laughs> and then he like he like got he regurgitated more and like spat it out. And eventually this trick killed him. It legit like killed him. It it uh the flames bounced you know, re rebounded 
and went up his nostrils and the kerosene. Oh, that's not what I expect. The kerosene ignited inside of his nose and his mouth and basically burned his uh burned him from the inside out. No, I expected him to have died of fucking kerosene poisoning from swallowing kerosene. Well, again, you can as long as you if you do it right, the kerosene will like sit on like top of whatever's in your stomach. It'll float there for a while, and then you can then you can regurgitate it as part of the. David Blaine actually did a uh, a version of it, although he 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 went nowhere near as like hardcore as the previous guy. But it people do crazy shit whenever they want to get attention, and this dude right here, this Michael dude definitely is trying to get attention and him swallowing like it's impressive for him to swallow and then regurgitate all that but i guarantee you there's some that he didn't regurgitate and for that i guarantee you one thing about michael his dookie twinkles (laughs) oh you would and just to be clear they put the tape on it first to prove that he couldn't have done this or just eaten them beforehand I think it works better if you do beforehand. Okay, so now after all this, he sits down with his crew and like examines the haul he got from his magic throw up. And then he goes on to like imply that the objects were like warped into his stomach and they belonged to like mythical figures or historical figures from centuries past. Isn't that one of the masters? Yeah, it sure looks looks like it. it. All the dimes are from Saint Germain. This one's from Quan Yin. This one here, that's uh, El Moria. That's definitely Kwan Yin. Now, Reverend Shane, I didn't see that with the rest of it. You did not produce that, and I know that. Yeah, uh, I hate to ask, but you did disinfect this, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what I was thinking. That one's for you, honey. I know you want it. I've seen you eyeing this guy up. That's an Amazon Basics fake gems plastic. <laughs> Just for you. Fraction of a cent. Cost a little Bangladeshi boy's life. Threw it up in the back room. A little little too much barfing uh, for my taste with this guy. Plus, I'm afraid my own barf reflex is going to get triggered. I don't really see where the point, medicine so. comes uh, in on this next? dude either. <laughs> Steven Turoff, psychic therapist and psychic surgeon. Nicely dressed. Got some kind of a smile here. Uh, not too threatening. Let's see what he's got. Steven Turoff. Let's have a look. He's got his own website. Steven Turoff started his career as a carpenter. Uh, I don't know, man. The last spiritual teacher to try this route ended up being the carpentry. So. Oh. But to each his own. He works with the power of light. That's what he's working with. That and a handsaw. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get in there and he's just gonna start flashing a flashlight at me? You feeling better? It's light therapy. And if the website weren't enough, uh, he's also got his own cult or something. You know, emphasis on or something. So, what else do you need? You're covered here. You got the gamut. This guy's made it big, okay? He even made it on the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. Remember that? That used to be good. Back when this was filmed, maybe. Stuff is like almost more concerning than it is funny. A gentle giant. Maybe. Stephen, you've been called a gentle giant. Why is that? Maybe because I'm tall and I'm gentle. Oh, another swing and a miss for you, Mr. Journalist. Why don't you go get your hit piece somewhere else? Okay, but that's enough of that mainstream. They have to get Louis Thoreau involved with these people. Because Louis Thoreau, he literally will just go in there and he'll just be like, so tell me, um... You claim to work with light. If that's the case, then why do you conduct all of your your synagogues in uh, in darkness? Uh, and I'd show him images. I'd show this image, and he would just be like, uh, I, "I don't know what he would say." Mister journalist. But Thoreau would literally th- ask him questions that would literally just be like, make him like, uh, "Wait, what?" It, it, he would ask him questions that would throw him off. Why don't you go get your hit piece somewhere else? 
uh, you know, from the words of Stephen Turoff. All right, I want to get more intimate. I want to learn, uh, you know, from the words of Stephen Turoff himself. So let's go to the more advanced section here. We got Ministry of Enlightenment Conversations with Stephen Turoff, Light Phenomena, Part One. I can already feel myself bathing in this light. Oh no, that's just the lights. Did that say Ministry Moe? Well, it felt org? like it. Huh? Did that link say ministrymoe.org? Yeah. <laughs> Ministry Mo. Ministry Moe. <laughs> or Ministry Mo. They're using the cute like, anime girls at this point to <laughs> try to preach Jesus to people. <laughs> For me, I see I see Ministry Mo as though it's like Mo from the Three Stooges, and you walk in and he just slaps you on the forehead. Just like, you believe in God? No? How about now? <laughs> I can already feel myself bathing in this light. Oh, no, that's just the lights? Well, it felt like it. So for context on this video here, it's basically him sitting at his shrine of family photos, explaining and showing off these miraculous images where he's depicted exhibiting his superpower of glowing on camera. Big if true. Let's get to the bottom of this. Explain yourself. What's really interesting, there's no special cameras. Uh, all different cameras take these pictures of me. The latest one uh, we have is this one. I have this ability to turn my body to light. Can't do it right now because I'm, if you see, I'm charging. <laughs> you can't even see the, uh, the, the jagged parts from Photoshop, literally right here. You can't even see the glow effect that I'll do right now, I can do right now. For you naysayers, you know, Steven doesn't have to defend himself. I will defend him for him, okay? Are you suggesting that Steven Turoff, a man of wise spiritual teachings who just wants to freaking help people, would do something like this? Like this? You saying he would do some shit like this? No, that one <laughs> on the left looks way better than what I just did, okay? There's no way, that one's real. Cause I only took, I took only like 15, 20 seconds on this. Give me like 60 to 80 seconds. I can make it look, re in fact, no, he wouldn't. It's way too easy to just do that. Yeah, it is. Look at that. <laughs> That's one to one, basically. Yep. That, again, I'm not one to tell people what they can and cannot believe. If you believe this, go right ahead, preach it, do whatever you want. But come on, man. If people are giving you their money to try and pretend like, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't, like, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see what, what this dude does with the money he's given. That's real. You know, some people say, oh, I paint these on, I do this, I do that. No, I don't. Some people say I'm a big liar. Some people say I'm making it all up. No. <laughs> no, I'm telling the truth. The light man. <laughs> Steve, maybe one of those angels can come down and, and tell you that for PR purposes, maybe don't look down and, and twiddle your thumbs like a freaking guilty interrogation subject right, right when you're saying you're not lying. So, you know, you can't say, oh, we're so wrong with a camera. No, two different cameras took these photographs. Shit, he got me. I've got no outs. Hey, wait a minute. What if there were two Stevens? The national newspaper had come to do an article on me, and they filmed it. And we have uh, somewhere here, yeah, here, the pictures where you can see the angel. And you can see they've got no feet; they're floating above the ground. That's a oh, wrong R, wrong. There's feet right there. There's feet right there. There's feet right there. Yeah, I, I, again, this is bullshit. <laughs> That's a picture of my dog. He died, so I try to get him as close to heaven as possible. It's, it's been a while since I've seen him. It's far. His dog. That's a weird dog. You say his you dog. Got, John. That's a weird dog, John. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Nibbles? He is a cute boy, though. Gosh, what a beautiful dog he was. <laughs> it was full daylight, and this is the picture. A full daylight, and I was working in the healing room, and they were filming me. And uh, as they filmed me, I dematerialized. 
I mean, I'd show you the picture, but <laughs> frankly, there's not much to see. If you watch the film, uh, you can see me going, ah! <laughs> yeah, I know I should have said this going in, but you know, my eyes are a bit sensitive to light and uh, the last carpenter I worked with dropped a brick on my cat, so. But we still have two options, okay? I'm sure one of these will be right. Uh, so what do we got here? Pranic healing. Well, his energy beam looks very strong, so that's always a plus. Uh, let's check it out. It's freaking Moira from Crown. Overwatch. I've seen these. I know Crown. I got this. Forehead, even better. I am. That's one. <laughs> I'm cruising. So this is good. This is good. We're we're two for two. Ajna. You... Huh? Uh huh? Okay, we're two for three. Throat. Okay, we're okay. We're back in familiar territory. Front heart. That's a typo, right? So front solar plexus, spleen, navel. Slow down! Slow down a minute! God damn it! The sex, sex chakra. Yeah. Well. Hell yeah. I understand it. I guess. I didn't even realize we had back heart show up here. Mang Mang. We can't forget the Mang Mang. Crown. Forehead. Throat. I, don't know. I think that might be a Rammstein song called Mang Mang. Mang Mang. I can hear it. Mang Mang. Also, that's basically like the lower back. They're like. Mang Mang. Crown. Forehead. Throat. Front heart. That's the Mang Mang. That's the Mang Mang. It's important. Well, don't get it twisted. Your back heart is there. It'll heal me. It's okay. We've got to give it a chance. We're only 38 seconds in. I'm having a pranic attack. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, we've covered the basics. Now I want to know about the aura and its components. That's the inner aura. That's the outer aura. And those are the health rays. That's that's a bright, healthy aura. That's what it's going to look like. A bright, healthy aura. And you know you can trust these people because nice they've done their proofreading. All right. How to activate your hands. Is that what they've been? Sort of. How's he doing? You got like a. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that's crazy. Everyone's been able to do that? Is that easy just like that? Just. <laughs> wow. No, I still feel like I haven't slept and I feel like shit. I feel you. Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> Don't shoot it in public, man! <laughs> Sword on, no! Well, there goes the command center. Learn to scan and locate the chakras. He's very gentle. He's not gonna he's not gonna press your chakra back into you. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that main boundary. Yeah, got that. <clears throat> Front solar plexus destroyed. Back solar plexus destroyed. Front heart, 30% capacity. Oh yeah, that's a chakra clog right there. You don't need more than a Dyson vac for that. That's a serious job. See, it's just that simple. Now she's learned. And now she can clean chakra crumbs off that guy too. You were a, you a dirty boy. You were a congested boy. Dirty energy disposed off safely. <laughs> what? Expecting that. <laughs> Can I have that dirty chakra water? I really want to use it to boil my macaroni. Oh god, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, choke. Just a water bowl? What are you gonna what are you gonna wring out your hand too before you go back? How to dispose dirty energy in absence of salt and water. This! This I need to know. Because yeah, sometimes you don't have those on hand. Okay, you get the green, you throw it in the green fire. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. No, that's what I was thinking too, because like I thought, mm -hmm. I thought it was like maybe too obvious, but um, create the green fire, um, wang it right in. Yeah, don't, don't mix up and use the purple fire. 
Good thing he didn't need the green fire here. He's got the salt and water. But, um... <laughs> I'm just saying, one seems a lot more common than the other. I, I'm trying to think of when you'd need the green fire, like, realistically. Yeah, you'd pretty much never need the green fire. And if you were in a situation where you needed the green fire, um, you probably got bigger problems than, like, cleaning your chakras. You could do that later, like, after you get out of the Gobi Desert. <laughs> How to disconnect yourself from patient after a healing. Just, just, just smack that off. Just give it a couple... Learn how to locate the spiritual cord. Why? Why well, you need to know where that is, dude? You wouldn't be thinking of severing that cord, would you? Because it'd be mm. real easy if you wanted to. It's just one shot. <laughs> Bang! They're gone. Dead. Just if you wanted to, it's just one shot. <laughs> hold on. Severing hold on. that cord, would you? Because it'd be real easy if you wanted to. It's just. Get down, Mr. President! One shot. Damn it. Also, Bang. that's me whenever They're... I'm sitting at my desk, just depressed, watching shows on my laptop, or not my laptop, but computer. Yeah. Just that right there. <laughs> that's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> It'd be a very efficient assassination method to just be able to sever someone's spiritual cord. Oh, yeah. Leave no evidence, really. Exactly. It's just like, this person dropped dead. What from? Nothing. Their health is, their heart's perfectly healthy. Their brain's intact. They have no exterior wounds. Their brain activity just ceased. It's just like they... They just went brain dead out of nowhere spontaneously. Yeah. Imagine if Light used that as a as a way to kill someone in the death note. Ella would still figure it out. <laughs> You're not lying. Ella would just be like, it was a spiritual assassination. <laughs> yeah. How did you know that? Because I'm fucking hell. Because I'm L, motherfucker. Hmm. Ah. Bang! They're gone. And it's clean, too. Doesn't leave a trail. No, you maniac! What are you doing? <laughs> Only a fool would play God! Yeah, I don't know. Not for me. Let's move on. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they pretty much lost me. Object, Only a so fool would play God! I don't God. think I'm gonna be able to do this one. What's next? Alright, well, there's one left, so Bracco. it's down to fate now. And fate's name would be... Bracco? Bracco? Bratso. Bratso. Uh, Bratso. Maybe he's from Nebraska or something. Show me what you got, Bratso! Uh, looks kind of sad. Uh, have, did you have you come to kill me? Uh, just be honest. Did you, have you come here to kill me? So that's what he does. He just stares. That's all it is. That's all he's got. That's all she wrote. That's all he looked. But that's not even the bad part. Okay, he's got accomplices in this crime. He's he's out there regularly drawing crowds in at least as big as like an anime convention panel about Naruto Sharingan power levels. Who are the people who are going to see this? It's like a bunch of jaded, like, Midwest, Midwestern white women. I think Bratso is on to something, because there are no words for this, really. Uh water just poured out of my eyes oh yeah that's called that's called crying um what's your iq i could barely see him on the <laughs> skype session because i was crying so much he fucked it up i, I waited forever and then i just whatever this whatever this was crying 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 you know i don't know why you know crying 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 did you get all that cry What do you think he's really thinking when he's looking over his audience? It can't be anything good. I hate every last one of you for what you represent. Free will is a waste on subjects such as yourselves. I'd rather give free will to my fucking refrigerator. I don't know, does this... 
I guarantee he's looking out at this and just like... It, Good. It's like, Jesus Christ, this is a shit ton of white women with way too much time on their hands. Fuck. I hate every last one of you. I don't know, does this guy do anything it's else? Probably like, I bet Honestly, they think this look. is my natural hair color, too. Yeah. Let's go to his website, let's see. That's always a surefire way. Bratso.me. Got it. Okay, very nice landing page. There's this beautiful mug, nice branding, and live stream? Online gazing? What do you mean live stream? He live streams? Isn't the point that you're supposed to like be there feeling his presence? Doesn't it kind of- No, that one lady literally said over the Skype call. To outsource it in this way? What are you doing with your time? You could be here. You could be sitting here watching this with 15 Americans, two Germans, and a Kiwi. I'm really upset we're that far up in the rankings. At least we took down two Frenchmen with us, so I'm good. I'm good with it. <laughs> so apparently that's all it takes. That that that's all you gotta do. I'm in the wrong business, okay? I should do this. In fact, would you would you guys watch this? Hold on. Let me try. Would you watch this? Yeah. Striker three hundred and forty seven donated and said don't, You're a fat loser staring baby idiot loser wa wa wee wee hee hee. Shut hee. up. Cavity head mods Ben Striker three four seven <laughs> no, no, you know what guys? I know what the problem is. I just don't take care of myself, you know? I'm expecting random charlatans to fix my problems, but I haven't even taken the first step. You know, I should just go on a walk, get some fresh air, eat right. I'm still gonna drink though, but let's do this. I'm motivated. Let's start our journey today. Uh, what are you doing here? Can you stop? Can you stop that? Look, man, one of us is gonna have to move. What are you? What are you looking at, dude? Th okay, this is re this has just gotta stop. And it did. He was just showing his chair like he's outside, you know, it's like so he's not in his chair. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I get <laughs> This is this is <laughs> That's the meme that I always go back to. Like And then reappear, yeah. I love that. Also, I, I, someone showed me the proper way to pick up a duck. You know how you do it? Not really. You get right up under them, on their bellies, and you basically just pick them up. That's it. And they basically treat that like nothing. That's just like, okay, so I guess I'm picked up now. What's up? Wouldn't their feet just be kind of hanging off the back of your hand? Uh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Yeah. How to pick up a duck. Step one, find a duck. Have you found your duck? Not yet. Step two. Place your hand underneath the duck, palm side up, and lift the duck. Congratulations, <laughs> you've now picked up a duck. How to unpick up a duck. Step one, pick up a duck. Have you picked up a duck? Not Step yet. two, slowly lower the duck until its cheese feet have touched the ground. Cheese feet. <laughs> Step three, release the duck. 
Congratulations. <laughs> you are no longer holding a duck. <laughs> How to pick up a duck. Part 3. Common problems and mistakes. So, you've found yourself a duck, but you find yourself chasing after it. It always runs away when you try to pick it up. Don't do this. <laughs> if you're behind, that should remind you that that's wrong. If you chase a duck, it'll run. So get in front of the duck and introduce yourself and state your intentions. Hello, duck. My name is Human Name, and I'm going to pick you up now. Place your hand firmly underneath the duck, palm side up, and lift. Congratulations, <laughs> you're now holding a duck. I like to imagine this is just a random duck that he found out in the parking lot. <laughs> I, I would imagine so. Not Although just, the duck not is his wearing pet socks. Duck. Yeah. The duck is wearing socks. Obviously. <laughs> but that I, I thought that was cute. I thought that was really, really cute. Yeah. I love the fact that his channel name is Seduck too. <laughs> It's <laughs> so good. Okay. How to catch ducks at the park legally? I don't think you can do that. Quack. That's probably not legal in most state parks. Urban, the Urban Rescue Ranch. Jesus. Oh, he's rescuing ducks. Okay, I got you. I guess. Yeah. That's a geese. If you don't have food, geese can be dicks. Yeah, that's a demon duck. Yeah. Quack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he pooped. <laughs> yep. Just dropped a deuce right there. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, we're going to end it here, everyone. This is, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, uh, this was John Tron, uh, extremely alternative medicine. Uh, there it is. So yeah, extremely alternative medicine. I'm going to leave a like. And I'm also going to leave a comment down below. See if y'all can find it. And uh, I guess until next time, everyone. Signing off. I'm Nate. I am Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Peace.